recording? <laughs> okay. Should I make? Oh, sort. Oh. Oh. You wanna help me out? Sweet. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Pardon me being a state. Um, well, I want to actually make sure. That yeah, I'll make sure I'm actually in the shot this time. Well, no, your head's not in frame. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, yeah, so today is going to be our run through. We're pretty excited about it. Now, usually I'd get out of bed and I'd go to the bathroom, but I woke up early and had to go to the bathroom and came back in and lay down again. So, instead of doing that, I'm just going to get Nicholas to get a few shots of me scooting to the living room, because I do that every morning too. <laughs> Alrighty, now i got to get out of bed. <laughs> And I... Oh, first I'm going to plug in my phone because I didn't have it plugged in last night if I can find it. Um, uh, where uh -huh. is it? Uh-huh. It's right here. Okay. Want me to take it out? Uh, I need it plugged in. Oh. The charger is down here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I feel it down on my finger. There you go. Okay. I had to pull the whole thing out to find it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You can take my iPad out though. That's over there under my pillow. Up here in the top corner. My goodness, my hair. I can only imagine what I'm letting you put on YouTube. Yeah, yeah you can bring that out after. I just yeah. gotta grab my socks and then you can do a little bit of that. Ugh. Oh, I have no idea how much I hate getting up early. <laughs> Cause you never get up at a normal time. Nope, it's usually dinner time. Okay, so the reason I'm putting my socks under my feet is because I use them to slide on the floor. It's a lot easier than lifting my feet. <laughs> All right. So normally I'd leave my bedroom and then I'd go in the bathroom and Aunt Suzanne would help me get dressed and stuff. But because it's so early, I'm not getting dressed yet. And this is how I get from point A to point B <laughs> when I'm not using my wheelchair. I'm really it's, cold. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. I'm going to have to get my blanket. My camera work is going to be horrible. <laughs> so I'm really shaking. Sorry. <laughs> it's not late enough for the sun to be coming in through the windows yet. Oh, well, this thing has all my auto stability. Oh, good. So it won't look like it's shaking. That's good. That's good. This is where I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, normally, other things that would happen first thing in the morning is like Aunt Suzanne would put my hair up and get me dressed, like I said before, but it's just too early for that. So, we will be recording more little segments through the day. And we'll have them posted probably tonight. Well, we hope. Alright, thank you guys for watching. You don't have, really have to say that because it's going to be, we're going to edit them together. So it's not going to be a separate video. Oh, uh, never mind guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty guys, since eating is a major part of everybody's day and I can't use my arms like everyone else, Nicholas was like, oh, let's record you eating. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. 
So, really, it's nothing special at all. I'm going to take a bite of this now. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Very. <laughs> So yeah, since I can't use my hands, I just dive right in. Hello there again, ladies and gents. Thank you for staying, stay tuned. The hell am I supposed to say that? Staying tuned. There you go. That's better. To our video, vlog, daily thing. So in this video, like, no, obviously I'm not doing anything special. But we just kind of wanted to run through some things that we did off camera. Because, I mean, if Nicholas had to be running around following me with a camera all day, I'd just get annoyed and yeah. pissed off with him. So, and not everything is exciting, so. Exactly. Like me sitting on my bed watching Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not exciting. And that's pretty much as exciting as I get. But, <laughs> you know, like the little things like scooting from place to place and eating. And that's all we've really done so far, isn't it? Yeah, that's basically it. Well, so on a normal day, we like I just figured we'd walk you through some things like from off camera, like I said before. So I would get up as you guys have watched already. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm in, I hope I put the clips in the right order because <laughs> they might see the eating after this. <laughs> I'll try not. I'll try not to do that. Well, if he actually screws it up, spoiler alert, I'm going to show you how I eat. But, uh, so yeah, when I get up in the morning, uh, generally I shift my way down the bed, but since we were doing a video this morning, I figured I'd get Nicholas to help me sit up. <laughs> so it was easier and I could let you guys know what was on the go. So, then I would scoop, as you guys also got to see. I don't show many people that, so now it's on YouTube and it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh my feet hurt I gotta sit like this you wanna sit on a pillow no I'm good just pillow right behind you actually sure why not yeah see exactly alright so then I would leave the room I'd come out and Aunt Suzanne would get me my glass of water juice can do whatever they, do they even know who she is I'm not sure Aunt Suzanne is my aunt and his mother yeah and she, she's basically her worker yes she'll be in Hopefully we'll get her in a, in a shot through some point of the day. Yeah. We hope. And then we can introduce you guys to her. But uh, she does everything for me. When I get up in the morning, she helps me in the bathroom. And then you I... You don't want to put that on camera. No, not really. No. So, yeah, she helps me in the bathroom. And she brushes my teeth. And some days when I want to wear makeup... She does that for me. She does my hair, this cute little ponytail, courtesy of Aunt Suzanne. She does my eyebrows when needed, which is, if you can see it, is why they're they are puffy and pink. Um, what else she do? She helps me eat. If there are foods, like, um, this morning I was eating a sandwich, uh, a breakfast sandwich actually from Tim Hortons. And if anyone who lives in the United States will have absolutely no idea what that is. Well, okay, it's, it's kind of like Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, except they, they sell like donuts and stuff. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, she helps me eat stuff unlike that. Like and, stuff. Amount, and things that you can't put, like liquids that you can't put straws in. Yes, straws are my best friend. Yeah. Usually keep lots in the car if we get something from like a restaurant. Yes, we always have backup straws. <laughs> but yeah, so things like noodles and soup and cereal, unless the, unless it's dry, unless it has no milk, uh, she helps me do all that stuff. She helps feed me and stuff. Uh, she dresses me because this is as far up as my arm can go by itself. Uh -huh. And I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's so much, and you don't like, really like get get you in in your wheelchair. Yes, yeah. my wheelchair. Sorry, I'm not sad in it, so I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like she does everything in the world for me. Like it's insane. And sitting down and trying to list out the things that she does for me, like 
That take that take quite a while. It would. So we're not gonna do that, or we're gonna have you guys sat in front of a computer for hours if you want to continue watching this video. Okay. If you've gotten to this point and not get got bored to death, I'm proud of you. Good job. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> also, um, we're thinking of putting up a second channel, which from it will have like extra. Like videos on it from like us planning or something. I don't know if we're gonna do that. Or even like bloopers. Yeah. I'm thinking bloopers would be really funny, especially yeah. considering how often I'm known for screwing up. Yeah, like if we, <laughs> if, we if we have to retake a scene. Yeah. We we've had to do that a few times. We have, and Nicholas actually brought it up last night, like doing the whole extra channel thing. Yeah. But actually, if you guys want, you can leave a comment. And you can let us know, like, do you just want another playlist yeah, for the bloopers, or do you want a different channel? Because we could we could just um, upload the videos normally and just put them in a separate playlist so that they're all all in them at one thing. Yes. So you guys can let us know about that. Um, our email, our Facebook page that's now up is going to be in the description. Yay, that'll be in the description below. Yes. And... <laughs> Our Google Plus page. Do we have a Google Plus page still? Well, well, we still we don't have the. Uh, it's not called a page, but we still do have, have the account where I post things. Okay. Well, so. yeah. So Nicholas takes care of that. I take care of the Facebook. I've been blogging a little bit this morning, and uh, like we actually woke up. Like what time? Seven. It was close to seven. Yeah. Anyways. It was. It was really early. Yeah. And normally I don't get up until like noon. So, yeah, she's really bad for that. What can I say? I'm a teenager. But, uh, yeah, like, we'll record, we'll do a little section now after we're done recording this part. Because we're doing it in different parts, obviously. Because now I'm dressed in the first two. I wasn't. But, uh, so we'll do another little segment now when we're done recording this. And we'll show you, like, the way I use my technology. Like yeah, cause it's like without hand without my regular hands, it's really hard to type and stuff. Floppy floppy oh. floppy floppy floppy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we'll do that for you. And like, there's not really much that we can think of doing because it's just normal day stuff for us. So like, we're not used to having to <gasps> let's record this. Yeah. Like you know, so like we, if we've never really done any of that. No. Like, if there's anything you guys want to see specifically, comment below, yeah, email like, me, yeah, I'm Facebook right. page me, Google Plus page him. Um, you can even tweet me. Like, we'll put my Twitter on the bottom. That's a good idea. Yeah, it, it is yeah, actually. And it just came to me. I'm a genius. If I remember that, um, the Twitter Twitter will be in the description. If we remember, yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope I do. Yes. Nicholas is going to be posted, like, putting all this stuff together tonight and we're hoping to have it posted later on or the thing first is, thing tomorrow. The thing is, that makes no sense because they're they're watching this in the future. Okay, so the date is September fifth. I can I can put that on the video. Yes. Like I'm So that. we're hoping to have it posted sometime tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. But for right now for this video I think that's it. For, the, for this part of the video. Yes, for this part. Pardon me. <laughs> I think that's it. Alright, thank you guys again for watching. And I know I don't have to say this because we're going to continue and we're going to be doing more throughout the day and whatever. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support. And Great stay tuned. Are, stay yes, tuned. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I was just talking about doing this and then I felt inspired, so I just had to get right on it and do it. So, uh, technology, just like eating, is a very regular part of everybody's life, including mine, probably more than others. So, I just wanted to show you guys how I use my iPad. Oh, this is this is going to be technology reception. We're using we're using a camera, which is technology to record record you using technology. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so, because, as I've said a few times now, like, I can't use my arms. Yeah. Unless I'm doing something down here, like with my phone. But my iPad is too big to be able to hold, like, my phone.
Yeah. So I do it a little differently. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it up. Like, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to go into notes and just type my name or something. Just so you guys can get a feel of how I do things. So, to start, I have to pull it closer. If you have a password, I can censor it out. That's no big deal. Okay. So, then I press the home button with my nose. Adjust the angle correctly. Poop. Excuse the language, but technology makes me bad. So, now I'm into my notes. I have no idea what is in my note, so. Yeah, hey, just make a new note. Yeah. So, hi. My name is Alicia. Now, when I'm typing, I obviously had to close this eyes you just seen. Because. Actually, no, they didn't really see that. Oh, okay. Well, when I'm typing, I have to close this eye. Because if I'm just looking at my screen like this, I go cross-eyed. <laughs> so I close this eye. And yes, you're probably thinking, why that eye? Honestly, I don't know. But it's just not the same when I'm doing it on the other side. I guess it's something I've adapted to. So I close this eye and I maneuver my nose. My nose comes in handy for a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the technology segment. Uh, stay tuned for more. We're trying our best now to come up with different things to do. Um, we might even throw in like a short little fact video to go along with this because I'm really not that exciting. <laughs> Alright guys, stay tuned. Hi guys, again, I know this is still within the same video, but it's just a force of habit to say hi at the beginning, like when he starts to record. Um, so, we came to a complete conclusion that I'm the most boring human being on the face of the planet, and I don't do enough during the day to really be able to show you guys. Like, what I've already showed you is pretty much it. <laughs> I've showed you how I get out of the bed, which we posted earlier today, and I've showed you how I eat, and I've showed you how I get out of bed, uh, I've showed you how I scoot. And just so we can kind of get our name out there a little more, there's a lot of burning questions that people have, like for people with disabilities in general. But I mean, when somebody, like you're walking through a store, you're just going, and you see someone in a wheelchair, it's like, oh, what happened to them? Especially if they're a younger person like myself. If you see a senior in a wheelchair, that, that's kind of a common thing, you know, so. But, people won't ask. People think it's disrespectful. They think it's rude. And a lot of people, like, if they have children and they're asking questions, they're like, no, honey, you shouldn't be asking questions. But, truth is, how are they going to learn anything? How are you going to learn anything if you don't ask? Personally, myself, I love questions, especially the cute little ones from kids. Like, oh, your wheelchair's cool. Where'd you get it? Like, I've got that question before. And, I mean, it's the cutest little thing in the whole world. When you're telling this kid that uh, you got your wheelchair at a hospital because when you were born, you needed it. And they, they just think that that's just the best thing in the world. Like, you have a wheelchair. You get to go for rides all the time. Like, they just think that's great. So, anyways, before I start answering these ten common questions that I found online, if you have children, or if you're wondering, don't... Don't hold back. Ask. Don't don't be rude about it. Like don't go up to somebody and just be like, "What's wrong with you?" Like that's rude. But if you go up and ask somebody like this first question, uh, "Why are you in a wheelchair?" That's not rude. That's asking politely. You're just curious. And as humans, we're all curious. So why am I in a wheelchair? I'm in a wheelchair because I was born with arthritis. Arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. You should also tell them about how, like, what you were like when you were born. Yes, I should. Actually, I have to get a picture of that. Obviously, like, we're not home right now, so we don't have one. But, I'm going to have to try to find a picture, like an old baby picture. When I was born, I have to lay this down to show you. 
I was in a ball. I was, like, my knees were stuck like this. They were stuck permanently, like, well, not permanently, obviously, because they're not like it anymore. But they were stuck like this, and my knees were pinned to my chest. And I had cast and surgeries and everything you can possibly think of. Now I have to pick this up again. But, so yeah, that's why I'm in a wheelchair. I was born like it, is the simple answer. Uh, number two, what's it like being in a wheelchair? Hmm, well, being in a wheelchair kind of sucks sometimes. There's places you can't go, like... I recently, like within the last month, bottled my wheelchair out in some sand. <laughs> Not a good idea. Wheelchairs and sand don't mix for future references. Um, but other than that, like not being able to go the same places as other people, like that's pretty much like the biggest downfall. Other than that, like it's not much to complain about. Yeah, there's things that you got to do differently, but like myself, when you don't know any different. There's nothing really to adapt to. It's just how you learn to do things. So that's what it's like to be in a wheelchair. Number three. Do you ever say why me or get angry, sad, etc.? When I was little I did. A lot. I didn't understand why my brother and sister, who were younger than me, could go out in the sandbox and play out there forever. Like just go out in the garden and just run around it. But I had to sit on the bridge or in the sandbox and I couldn't get up and go where they were going but other than that like I've, I've adjusted to it and nobody really looks at me any differently like uh, the people who know me like Nicholas for example come here for a second like Nicholas he's known me his whole life clearly we're family and actually the only time that what's well, a question why am I relating oh yep all right so, the only time that Nicholas ever looked at me a little different was when he was really little. Uh, he tried to stand me up so I could walk in the room with him. But Aunt Suzanne explained to him, like, no, Nicholas, that's how she walks. And not, not hook after that. So, everyone still treats me the same, so there's no reason to get upset. Can I go back down on camera now? Yep, yeah, you're more than welcome. <laughs> So, no, not anymore, but at one point, yes, I did get mad, and I used to ask all the time, why me? Why did it have to be me? But now I'm all good. No problems now. Uh, number four, what's your disability called? Well, I kind of already answered that one in the first question. It's called Arthrogryposis Multiplex Congenita, and I, there's like 400 different types of it like over 400 different types and I have amyoplasia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never been told any differently so it's amyoplasia and with that like I have a normal life expectancy and like the life outcomes for people with this disability are pretty high quality so yay me. This camera is also high quality. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> um, so, number five, were you born with a disability? I answered that in the first one, so yes, I was. Uh, number six, Nicholas, could you come here for a second? Okay. Uh, this one asks, how does your disability affect those around you? Well, it's Go for it. basically, we get a lot of stares because, well, she's in a wheelchair, and my, her hands and everything. Um, yeah, there's always, like, a lot of people, like, especially when you're riding on my armrest, it's like, what are they doing? Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. But, that's, that's basically it. So, it doesn't affect you negatively in a way that you feel like you're being signaled, s mm, what's the word? Like for? you're weird, basically? Yeah. No, that, I don't get that. So does it affect you positively? Yes, a lot. Cause How so? Because cause I like you. Well, that's, I love you. That, that's nice to know. I love you too. <laughs> so, and also, also, I get free rides, so. Yes, it's true. You don't walk very far. <laughs> Alright, so now on to number seven. How do you get around? Well, we showed you in our previous... Are we going to post this one separate or are we going to post this with the other one? 
with the other ones. Okay, it's so... Cause it, it, it's a whole day vlog, so we're doing recording this over the whole day, so it's one oh, video. Oh, okay, all right. So we showed you earlier, sorry about that. <laughs> we showed you earlier how I get around, like, in the house. But when it comes to getting an... Oh, and we showed on the hell. <laughs> Stop dancing! <laughs> And we showed you guys how I get in bed by myself. Um, really, the only thing we haven't covered is wheelchair transfers from wheelchair to bed. But I'm sure we'll do that sometime soon. But uh, really, the only places I need help getting is like in a vehicle, in the shower, like anything to do with the bathroom I need help with. And in the vehicle. And back in the vehicle, obviously, because I don't live in a car. Oh, and also, in a in a video that we might have soon, I don't know, but I'm at like how I'm at how Aunt Suzanne, as she, as she calls her. You can call her yeah. mom. Yeah. We yeah. explained earlier. As okay, just, just call her worker in the videos. Like, uh no. Basically, how I, I don't like talking to her. Like no. How so she's she, at. How she gets the wheelchair, like the power wheelchair, in and out of the vehicle, I'm at, and gets her in and out of it. Yes, that's a really good idea actually, because we don't have a wheelchair van sadly, because they cost a fortune, and my mom has six kids including myself, so we can't afford to just go and get one. So Aunt Susanna actually arranged for my wheelchair to be able to fit in the back of her Jeep. So Nicholas will be recording that in the near future, I hope. Um, number eight, can you have children? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. Um, really, the only thing that's different about me is my appearance. Everything on the inside is perfect. <laughs> I've had kidney troubles, but that has nothing to do with having kids. So yes, I can have kids. And uh, number nine, are there any benefits of being in a wheelchair? Um. Well, you don't get tired when going around in your wheelchair. No, that's true. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get out of breath. I can go for a long time until my battery dies because I use yeah. an electric wheelchair, as you guys already know. Um, I think they know. I think so. I'm pretty sure. If not, now they do. Yeah. <laughs> um, benefits like the wheelchair parking is nice. Like it's close to the door, but most of the time you can't get it because there's people. Who wasn't wasn't that a different question? No, actually, I decided, oh, okay. I, decided, I decided against that one okay. because I figured I could, I could kind of top down it in this one. So, uh, the wheelchair parking, like, that kind of sucks because people use it without needing it. No, sorry, I screwed that up. The wheelchair parking is good, but people who don't need it uses it. Like, uh, we were actually in Dominion parking lot one day, and we were parked across from an elderly couple and because they were elderly they had the blue sticker um you're old not crippled and well, and also like man people who have other people that are disabled and get the get the sign just on um, think that just because they have in their vehicle it means means they they can park better yeah yeah even when they're when there's no one disabled there a lot of people do that, and trust me, in my video diaries, I'm soon going to be doing actually, because there's a lot of like, uh, as we get closer to going home, there's a lot of things at home that aren't wheelchair accessible, so you'll be getting to hear lots about that. Yeah, lots. <laughs> I feel very strongly about that. But, uh, so, yes, there are benefits to being in a wheelchair, but all at the same time, not really. It's just normal, everyday stuff, you know? And the last, but certainly not least, have you ever or will you ever walk? Have I ever? No. And will I ever? Probably not. Unless technology advances extremely quick. Yes. Because, as you can tell, I'll turn sideways for you to be able to see my leg. My, let me put this down first. My leg is stuck in an L position. I have joint contractures, which is a part of AMC, and they're just, they're stuck like that. Like, my wrists too. My wrists don't really extend much. I can't really do anything right now to show you because I don't have anything to put my hand on, but they don't extend much. Like, that's as much as they extend. And my knees, this one, this is as much as this one extends. 
So, uh, probably not because my hips and my knees are curved, my joints are curved. So probably not, and you're probably watching this wondering, oh that's a sin, like, does that bother her? Not really, not even a little bit, because I'm used to it. This is how I am, and God has a plan for me. So, that's ten questions. Please, guys, get on the go and email us. We want more questions, we want more things to video, like, I'm, I'm very inspired <laughs> the last couple of days. And also, um, um, if you post, oh, if you post comments, so we'll be actively reading those. Yes, always. On the Facebook page, on the Google Plus page, on our on, on, YouTube account. On like, YouTube, because the way it works is you can post a comment on any video, even the oldest video, and we'll still see it. Yes. So we're going to be checking that all the time. Please, guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. Like the, like the more personal stuff. Like I don't mind answering, but, you know, but I mean, like, just ask away. I'm an open book. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, if there's any questions about, like, interests, like, I've had people ask me if my interests are affected by my wheelchair and stuff like that, you know? Like, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid, like, uh, we're hoping to get pictures and stuff and make a slideshow. And we'll have that hopefully on our YouTube account if Nicholas is a smart guy, so we'll figure it out. And I am a smart guy. Yes, see? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we'll figure that out and we'll have that posted. But for now, I think that's it. And hopefully throughout the day sometime we'll find something interesting to record because, I mean, like I said, I'm a very, very boring individual. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. Okay, sorry about that. I know, like, I just said that we were gonna go and, like, try to find other stuff to do. But if we don't, like, today, like, is the open day. Like, you message us and, like, we'll have a video posted, like, ASAP. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> Bye. See you again. I know Nicholas has told me a few times about saying hey because... Really, we're at the end of the video, and I'm saying it in the middle of the video, but whatever. Um, to close things off, because there's really nothing else that I do that's any special than, you know. So to close this off, like, we decided that we were going to do our goals and wishes, like, personally, and ones that we'd like for this channel, for this community that we're planning on expanding. Yeah. So, do you want to go first? Uh, sure. So, mainly what I kind of want is that we have comments that we can read every day and enjoy and stuff. And basically have lots of feedback from our viewers and stuff. Yes. Um, get some, get, get subscribers because, like, um, we're going to try to upgrade the experience and try to make it better. So that I mean, more people like it and we get some more subscribers. Um. Yes, oh, and just so you guys know, sorry to interrupt, uh, this isn't a short term thing. This is going to be for a very, very long time. We're going to be posting vlogs and videos and like all the time. And I'm going off to college in a couple of years. I'm graduated now. Thank God. But I'm going off to college in a couple of years and. Nicholas will, Nicholas and Aunt Suzanne will be coming with me because obviously not just anyone can take care of me. So we'll be posting videos of that and yeah, we, the different we, experiences I go yeah, through. Like, a man, like what you've experienced in there and how people treat you and kind of stuff like that. Yes. Your legs. So is there any personal goals that you would like to gain from this? Achievement basically. Achieve. Feeling good about myself that I, that I that I help do a good thing and get the word of AMC out there kind of stuff. That's a very good achievement, I think. Cause it makes you feel good inside. It does. It makes you feel very good when you're exposing this disability that not many people know about. And one day when more kids are being born with this disability, people won't look at them and be like, 
what? Like, what's our other grind potions? Like, everyone's gonna know. And that's our goal for doing this. Also, um, we need to close this off soon because the battery on the camera's running low. Oh, yeah, whoops. Uh, um, from this, I want to get, just like Nicholas, I just want to get the word out there, like, what AMC is, how it affects people and stuff like that, you know? And for social media-wise, I want to gain viewers, subscribers, and learners, really. I want to, I want to be able to teach people. I don't want this to just be for fun. I want this to be to teach people, like to show them and so then when somebody comes in contact with an AMCer, yes, that's a word, AMCer, um, they don't have to give them the whole 21 questions. They'll just know some things, like I'm not expecting everyone to remember everything I'm talking about because as you can tell, I can babble on for days. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Mm. But anyways, I just, I want to make a difference. Okay, I think we can close it off here. I think so too. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this entire boring thing that we've done. And our battery is really low, so I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching this all day vlog. And we'll see you. See you guys. Oh. And we're hoping, I think I mentioned this earlier, to have all the links for our different forms of social media in the com in the description. Not the comments. Description. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye! Bye!